Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! Thank you for watching this video already! So over this past holiday season-ish, I've been collecting new makeup. Well, not collecting, but sorry, my phone's going off. Like, trying out new makeup, buying some makeup. There's some that I didn't like. Well, there's only one that I didn't like so much, but we'll get to that later. So. I let myself use these for like a couple weeks just to see like how I would like them over time if my idea of them was going to change eventually. And some of them I love and one of them I loved at first but towards the end it was just like crazy. Okay. Maybe I should start with a bad one first so that we can end the video on a good note. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, cool. Let me see if I can find it. I can never find sh now that I'm looking through my makeup stuff, there's like another item that I was like underwhelmed by. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree with me with this one, but um, okay, I'll get to that one. Ugh, I'm all over the place, sorry. So the first one that I wanted to talk about is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This one's in the color natural, I think. Yeah, it's a natural. I mean, don't get me wrong, like this is it's beautiful like coverage wise the color matches my skin tone like exactly right now I'm like really pale right now just because it's winter it does have like a really shiny dewy finish one of the pros is that it blends really well with the LA girl pro concealers and I love those concealers those, those concealers are so great like even with a foundation that's not LA girl it just blends so nicely it has really good coverage uh, even the color correcting like concealers are really good. It's just this one. I used it maybe like For the first seven like the first week that I got it I use this every day straight just because I loved it so much You know what I mean? Like it just made me want to put on makeup every day Like it wore so comfortably when I like after I set it with powder and stuff like that but maybe like the second week into it and I don't know if this like if it kind of reacted with the hormones in my body this broke me out so bad like I don't know why it broke me out that bad you know so I mean you can't tell right now just because like my foundation is, is pretty on there but I broke out like I oh my god I really need a chemical ah! sorry about that um but yeah like now if I've never thought about this before really because my skin's been really good recently to where I can only use concealer on like certain areas and I didn't have to wear foundation but like after this for like two weeks I started getting acne like on my face at the end of the day there's one time I went out and then I came home and I had like the fattest pimple on my cheek like right here and I was like what the uh, I mean that's kind of what I get for like for trying out makeup so much you know the only other foundation that felt close to this one is the Milani, the two-in-one. I mean, the way that it felt on my face after a while. I should have known though because I felt like there was so much stuff on my face and it was like super greasy at the end of the day. So that's probably my fault for not like taking it off when I started feeling uncomfortable. But I've never had a problem with foundation like that before. So I'm glad it works for everybody else. It just doesn't work for me. The next product that I want to talk about that didn't really work out for me, I've been using this one since Christmas because my cousin gave it to me and I'm super grateful, you know, because I love being able to play with makeup and of course I'm going to be grateful for any gift that anyone gives me, you know what I mean, but it, the color payoff was just not that good. It's the Naked Smoky, and I'm pretty sure... Because I've heard a lot of other people complain about the Naked Palettes before that, you know, after trying Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows and Morphe eyeshadows, that these are just like really disappointing. I mean, so there's, sorry about the, <laughs> the mirror and stuff, but um, like you would think that the shimmers are really good, right? See this, like what? Like that, it's just... I don't know like okay I'm gonna go back and swatch this and go over it a lot of times on my finger right that one and then look <laughs> like where did it go like let me compare a color to it um let me use the modern renaissance palette I'm gonna take antique bronze right here 
and I just dip my finger into that one and then I'll put it right next to this one. Like, do you see that? Let me just... Okay, there. See? See how much darker that one is to that one? It... I don't know. It, it's just ridiculous. I mean, at least... I mean, maybe she gave it to me for a reason, you know, like, because she, she slightly used it, which I don't mind at all, but, you know, there's a reason why she didn't really use it no more. I'd rather just, like, grab a palette where I know all of them are gonna work, you know? If I know that one palette's, like, has at least half the eyeshadows that aren't gonna work, I'm just not gonna grab for it. Like, I, I don't feel myself being like, oh, I wanna put on my makeup and use the Naked Smokey today, you know? I mean, it's, it might work for some people, just just not for me. Anyways, on to the good stuff. Ones that did work for me, though, worked really well. So, there's a positive light in this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, so my cousin, she, um, they gave me a Sephora gift card for Christmas, so uh, of course I'm gonna go to Sephora the next day and go look for something. But, I mean, you know how, like, Sephora is, like, $50 is, is literally, like, either one thing or, like, half of one thing worth, or you can get, like, two small things, so I ended up paying, like, $10 additional, but I ended up getting three things. So I got this and the Philosophy Face Wash. I think I'm gonna return that one. And, oh, man. Oh, I got Witches. Oh, maybe I should add that in this video. The Witches lipstick, the Kat Von D one. There you go. I'm talking about that one next. So, so I got this. Oh my gosh! Like, first of all, the packaging is hella pretty. And then this is the color. It's a blush by Too Faced. It's called Peach Beach, and it's just like so pretty. Like, look at that. Oh. It has like, it's like a three-tone blush and and no lie, every time I go to, into Sephora, I've always just looked at this and I was with my friend Frances and then she was like, like, I've never seen a blush like that. You have to get it. You've been, you've been looking at it this whole time we were here. Like, you might as well. But you know, the rational part of me is like, no, save it for something that you can use all the time. And then in my head, I was like, what are you going to use a blush for? Yeah, Bella blushes. <laughs> Anyways, I like to run a brush all over them and then kind of. Do you see that? It doesn't really pick up that well on camera for some reason, but. And it's not even like the best, like, sw hand swatch, but I'm wearing it on my, on my cheeks right now with the terracotta shade and the Forever 21 blush palette that I like to use. And I put this on top, like, I mean, I can use it alone totally, but it's more of like a wash of color with like a lot of little sparkles in it. It does have sparkles in it. But it's not like super sparkly, like where it's annoying and your face is like feeling all chalky and stuff. No, like, it's really pretty. <laughs> and I'm like in love with it. I wear it with every single look, every single look. Like I have to use it, it's just so pretty. So next item is this. My auntie is a stylist, Neiman Marcus. She gets a whole lot of like free stuff. She'll give me like, her samples though are like full size stuff. They're like perfumes and makeup and stuff like that. So she gave me this one that's like, it's an eyeliner. I mean, the, the name is in French and I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. But it's, a, this is, an eyeliner in the color cherry black and sorry it's upside down but yeah this is what I have on my eyes right now and it's I don't know if you can really see it but it's like you see how it reflects like that it's like a black it's like a black eyeliner but it has like purplish maroon reddish little sparkles in it not sparkles I would say it's more of like a maybe like a little metallic but I love this, like, I've only used it as a base for a smoky eye so far. I haven't used it as, like, an actual eyeliner yet, but I love this. Like, it adds dimension to your smoky eye, and it looks so good. Like, you can see my brown eyes look a little bit more brown. And if I were to use, like, like a normal black, I don't think my brown eyes would be popping this much, you know? I've been in a purple eyeshadow lately. I don't know why. Anyways. And, oh, the next one I'm going to talk about is Witches by Kat Von D. And I'm pretty sure, maybe some of you guys have heard about this before, but 
I mean, I've been like on the hunt for like the perfect black lipstick. I was like tired of using eyeliners and black matte gel liner to as like a black lipstick. And I wanted something like really nice and matte and this one's really nice and matte. It's almost like those gel liners that I would use on my lips, but you can see how pigmented that is. I mean, it's a little shiny right now, but it dries down to like a super matte finish. And it's really good. Like, I like this formula so much, and this is the first Kat Von D lipstick I ever owned, so I'm thinking about maybe like getting more of her stuff eventually. Because it's really comfortable. Like, I have ColourPop, and ColourPop mattes are pretty drying, but this is a little bit... It's a little bit more comfortable than that, so I'm like really interested. Can you see? <laughs> Alright. Oh, last item. Finally, finally got the Airspun. Oh my gosh, like, I've been to so many Walmarts trying to get this and they didn't have any. And then I go to um, the Walmart in... I live in the Bay, so I went to the one in San Leandro and they, they had this? They only had this in two colors. They had, tra uh, this one is translucent, extra coverage, and then they had the other one that's like a, a light beige or something like that. But those are the only two colors they had. And it's $6, can you believe it? I'm using it right now as like, um, like a setting powder under my eyes and like in my T-zone. Like normally where I would use the Laura Mercier setting powder. And it does have that smell everyone talks about, but to me it kind of smells like, like candy? like a powdery candy. It smells like pixie sticks to me. There you go. It smells like pixie sticks. It doesn't smell like old lady like everyone else says. But the color is like so good and the way that it looks is like it's like so good. Like you can see how good it looks. Like my pores are non-existent like right here. Um but yeah, like I honestly like this better than the Laura Mercier powder. Like I was like after I the first time I used this, I wanted to throw out my Laura Mercier, but like that's kind of a waste so I'm just gonna use that until it's gone I mean it's almost done anyways can't find it right now but so oh, oh one last thing one last thing I ha I, I hella forgot about this one um this one is Revlon rose velvet lipstick I think this was like five or six dollars it was super affordable it looks like this and it looks it looks way lighter on camera than it does in person. In person it looks more of like a, like almost like a brownish mauve rosy color. But I'll swatch it anyways right here. By the way, see how it dried down? It's super matte now. Um, so yeah, you see that? It's kind of like that lip color that's supposed to be like your lips but better. And I love colors like this for days where I want like a natural makeup day or I'm like on the go and I don't really want something matte. I want something a little bit nourishing, you know? So this one, this one stays this finish, like a little shiny, um, like a cream finish. And I really like it. The one I was using before this is Brooklyn. By Bux it, the color's name is Brooklyn by Buxom. It's in the stick one and then it smells like a little minty and I really like that one but the only reason why I had that one is because my friend gave it to me and she didn't really like it. So I wasn't in the mood to like spend $20 on a lipstick again so I just I just got this one from the drugstore. I googled Brooklyn dupes. Definitely not disappointed with this one though so. Alright, that's that's for reals it guys. <laughs> I know I just went on and it's just so exciting talking to you guys about different things that, that I've tried out. So yeah, like, thumbs up if you guys like this video and let me know if you guys want to see anything else. And please comment and subscribe. There's always like music in my head because right now it's like quiet and there's no music. But in my head, I'm like celebrating. Alright, cool. I love y'all. Oh, my cousin taught me this. Like, oh, well, I mean, he didn't teach me. I had to Google it, but it was in this picture. Finger hearts. I'm hella late, probably, because I don't know. This is supposedly like, it's like a Korean thing, like in K-pop and, and stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm like probably like a couple years late. But anyways, I didn't even know what this was. I had to Google it. Alright.
bye.